when we look at multiple sclerosis, the condition, it actually is a range of demographics from younger to older people. Um, and some patients diagnosed with multiple sclerosis are actually limited physically um, and can't do a lot of the things that they used to do. So when we created this community, we knew that MS was a social disease. We actually knew they're already active on a lot of communities um, across social media because there are some, to, to Ryan's point, there are some communities where they already have um, an active community where they don't want any input from pharma. So um, there are forums where they are already communicating with themselves, but in, in multiple sclerosis, these conversations are a little disjointed. And we realized that there was an opportunity to kind of bring hope and inspiration to this community. The level of engagement we saw as soon as we launched was incredibly flooring for me. Um, there were people that were very, very optimistic and lighthearted, but then there were people that would share the the horrible stories about how their husband left me because they were dis disabled, about how their children don't talk to them, and I honestly didn't know what to say. We didn't know what to say as a brand, but what's beautiful about this community is that they talked to each other and they supported each other um, with similar stories.